Hi guys, I'm David. And I'm Rob. How's it going? This is Richie here from Maverick. And this is Quickfire with Rocket Sports. For a whiskey lover, we had this idea, and it wasn't something to do with being smart often, but it's like, how can we make the cheapest video possible? It was an idea that we had for quite a long time, that golden mile. You know, 10 bars, 10 pints, for free ages we thought about how can we do it, logistics. We just thought I get a GoPro camera for like, uh, you know, the plan or something like that. And then it all sort of fell in the motion we planned at the route to bars, where we could end up, where we're going to stop off for shots and things like that. Uh, it was done on a Thursday. We just started really early in the day, trying to figure out how to get best camera angles and everything. That's why the first pub is fairly included in the video. Yeah, she's an introductory pint, um, and they get used to the cameras, sort of figuring out how, you know, it works with drinking, how these things look. Values is always kind of good about the first pint to start with. And is there anything more, you know, quintessentially to Northern Irish than a music video, which is a beer chug fest across the city, like, and, you know, we just thought, like, actually, I ended up not being a cheap music video at all, but um... <laughs> and then as always, it was going to well to plan, though. We tried to limit it to one drink per bar. And it uh, wasn't 10 pubs, 10 pints. No. It was in the first year. Mm. And then whenever we started to lose track of where we were going and what was happening, we found ourselves sitting in a pub for three, four pints. We're like, what are we doing? They know, let's move on. I think we lasted up until fifth bar, and then it was sort of that stage where we started to have a really good time, and then... I started it, I got the first round of Jager bombs. And then we were drinking spoons, we had a couple of shots of whiskey each. You know, whiskey lover, someone's like, why is it called whiskey lover? And all you're doing is drinking beer. And I think you'll find there's two shots of whiskey each in that video. <laughs> if we were going to do, you know, 10 pubs, 10, 15 shots of whiskey, you'd never see the end of the video. So we just thought, keep it the pints and... Uh... <laughs> Again, it just became sort of a night out with ourselves. So some people were drinking a bit faster and it's like, right, I'll, you're almost, I'll get you another beer and it just turned out to, And the memory gets very, very hazy at that stage. It was the last few pubs. The footage was very sparse because we kept forgetting to film. Yeah, we kept forgetting to record. We kept losing each other and lost track of where the camera was and stuff. A period where it's just me on my own in time going towards another bar and I have the camera on me. And then I stop and start chatting to these people at a bus stop. I somehow get them to sing the chorus of Whiskey Lover with me. I start making fun of one of the guys. I'm surprised I didn't get beaten up. Like, I think the only bit of food you have from that last pub is, is, is the bit yeah, the bit there's no music at the end where Mike's kind of going, I'm not getting paid for this or whatever he says. Well, well it was so much fun and I do remember going into work that morning just saying to the bosses, you know, I'm going to go sit in my office for the next 40 minutes. It's like, don't, don't come to me, I'm going to be used to this, I'll get better. But, you know, that was, that was a really, really fun night. Working on a, a topic. Mm. We were both in work the yeah. next day. We both in work the next day. This was the only night that we could film it with everyone together to meet the deadline. So yeah, we were both in, packed it on the next morning. And I was, I was in a cafe and I spent like for at least two hours in the sink throwing up in the back room and washroom. Mike, it was sort of messy. He was like, no, I had a lot of fun, but it's such a shame we didn't get all 10 bars. Uh, and then the rest of us, we got like, what are you talking about? Was like, we hit all 10. What do you not remember? And he said, I remember up to Kitties and that's it. And you're sort of like, all right, who else remembers what? And it's just blanks everywhere. And five guys had a lot of fun that night. And I think you can kind of see that in the video. You can see the sort of, it's nice to see a shift from when we started playing Mario Kart in Kitty Dillies. You can see the shift from there afterwards. It's just carnage. It's, unfortunately, I got my bum out in the video. Might get, might get kit in the bits. Um, so it is, it's an awful lot of fun and very fond memories from what I remember of that video. Is it much, unfortunately? We just thought, what a fun video. Like, also, there's so much. Look, it's certainly in the rock scene, and this is not, I'm not again at anybody in particular, but it's just the fact that you'll see people pretending to drink in videos and all on the rock scene and pretending to be, oh, I'm so wasted, you know, and that kind of thing, because the song fits it. We're like, how about we actually just get drunk and not take it? And um, whatever happens, happens. And obviously, there's some stuff which didn't make the cut uh, to the final version, so to say. But I mean, we just wanted something relatively uncensored, you know, within within taste. You know, and the song itself, very much like Asylum, was a song that we had. It was a wee bit more further along in terms of more of the lyrics were in place. Even if we still add that a lot, we brought it in the road for the Poodles to try and, you know, test the water with a new track. And actually, it was the Poodles drummer picking one of our first conversations with him. He immediately mentioned that our best song was Whiskey Lover. He said, it's a great song. You know, the first time he heard it down in the backstage, he's like, it's a good song. So. Got his seat of approval and um, the audience responded to it immediately. Obviously, we were going into that experience with no one knowing who we were, maybe a couple in each venue. It was very encouraging to see that the likes of Asylum and Whiskey Lover, even in their early stages, mm. were getting a better reaction than the songs that we had for years. So, definitely a favorite Maverick track and 
it's a song I don't think will leave the step anytime soon. <laughs>